Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 31st of May 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.21 a.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever who could be in your energy field and this reading could resonate with you in the past currently or in the future thanks for being here virgo if, if you haven't seen your monthly prediction reading yet for june go to my main channel chelsea love tarot link is in the description box below how's everyone doing virgo and by the way, for those of you who are new here, I'm also a Virgo. Ooh, nice Virgo. Queen of Cups. Death. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I know it looks scary, Death card, but it's not scary at all because it's surrounded by beautiful cards. It is a major, a major arcana, so that means there's some sort of a transformation that's going to happen pretty soon. Some of you could be starting to experience it. Ace of Wands, this is like a new beginning, way more exciting, way more inspiring or creative. Um, it's something new and it's blooming as you can see these, not blooming, but it's growing because you can see these uh, little leaves here. There's just one one. It hasn't um, become a tree yet. So that means this is hope as well. Um, hope for a new beginning. Some of you could be hoping for a brand new beginning that you are going to be more passionate about, that you feel much more alive. This is definitely alive, uh, creative. But this could also mean for some of you, this new beginning, um, it could, you know, it's up to you. You can, you know, for each and every one of you, it's different. It's a general reading. But the Ace of Wands could mean a recognition of a passionate connection or starting a completely new passionate connection. Um, it could be a relationship, but it could also be friendship. Um, if you are pregnant, this could be a boy, okay? Ace of Wands, it's a male phallic symbol. And also um, for some of you, it's a new business idea, a, a birth of something new, okay? Six of Pentacles. It's right here. Somehow, I sometimes I read the Six of Pentacles as like good karma. Okay, if you've been kind, if you've been doing charity, um, this for me, it's like you're giving. You can see this person is giving. Whatever you've been giving out to the world, you are going to receive it back tenfold. Okay, an ending to also for some of you, an ending of poverty. As you can see, these two are beggars. An ending to poverty or difficulties or needing help from people. For those of you Virgos who are struggling and uh, you're sleeping on somebody's couch right now, you know, you might get a job or there's something new that's going to happen where you're going to be able to do it on your own now. You don't need, like, that help from that person, for example, okay? And we've got the Ten of Cups right here. So you're on your journey to happily ever after. This Ten of Cups, they're cups. So they are not, they're not pentacles. So it hasn't become a reality yet. So 10 also indicates an ending. This is the last, number 10 is the last number. And I feel like uh, Virgo, this is why I read the death as like a really good card because there's hope at the end of the day. This ending is going to open up a lot of doors or one beautiful door um, for you that could propel you to um, be happy towards the path of happiness, okay? And we've also got the Empress in love first. We've also got the judgment. Some of you, uh, Spirit's be saying that it's time to reevaluate or that you could be thinking a lot about your past. Um, what have you done in your past? And where where did you come from and where you are right now i feel like that's like a whole um you're gonna be reflecting 
I don't know why. I think I probably... I don't know why I haven't seen the Hermit card in a while. Maybe I need to change my deck. But suddenly I just saw the Hermit card. Maybe it's lost. Maybe it's not in this deck. <laughs> Sometimes I lose cards because um, I travel a lot. But anyways, the judgment here, you could be reflecting... Um, because the judgment is like thinking about the past, bringing up the past, right? And then the Empress, you're going to be re-evaluating, you know, how far you've come. Have you grown yet, right? So it's time for you to grow because the Empress now is in reverse. And there's a growth right here with Ace of Wands. So a new beginning, okay? For some of you, it's a new beginning in terms of having children or a new job. Or just your independence, being able to finally grow on your own without the help of others. We all, no matter what, we all help have to help each other. We all need help at some point in time. Okay, you can say you're independent, but we still need help. Um, whatever the little help here and there that we may not even um, realize. Like, for example, um, little help of somebody throwing our garbage. Like, somebody who works as uh, somebody who picks up about garbage or <laughs> it can be anything, all right? It's like a phone call, you call your friend and you go like, hey, can you please help pick this thing up for me? You know, little things, we work as a community, so we all should be helping each other. We all actually do need each other. So this is like a community, right? Ten, ten of cups and the six of pentacles, helping each other. And for some of you, this new endeavor that you are po probably going to be embark on, for some of you, not all of you, um, it it revolves around helping people, okay? Like maybe you have been through something in your life and then finally you have that wisdom to now help others with those wisdom and experiences. Now you've got the Five of Wands here in my verse, Queen of Swords in my verse, Nine of Wands. Now when it comes to love, Virgo, it could be again a new love beginning. Maybe it could mean that Ace of Wands, somebody from your past may want to return or you might come across or you might cross path with somebody from your past whom you know you may have had an ending with, death card, and this person may come, come to you for help or wanting to give you something. Um, that's just for some of you. Nine of Wands, some of you could be feeling a little bit hurt. Um, but you're still standing there. You can do it, Virgo. You can do it. I'm feeling a little bit jaded, Queen of Swords in reverse, in regards to life or how how hard you have had to fight either for yourself, for your life, for the people you love and care for. And one thing that I'm seeing here, Virgo, for some of you, this is not for all of you, you may become... you. It, okay, there are two groups of you. The first group, Virgo, you either going to feel like, oh, now I have people to take care of so I need to grow I need to think of new ways to provide for my family that's for one group of you another group of you is like okay I have done enough I've given myself enough to whoever I have have to take care of um, now I need to take care of myself now I can go on to this journey where I am passionate things that I really want to do for myself and not just for other people right it could be, again, two different groups of you. And for some of you, you may have children, and your children um, may be graduating, or there's something about I'm hearing like birds nest. Um, some of you could be feeling like an like empty bird, bird's nest syndrome. If you are like a, the older Virgo, the more mature Virgo. And for some of you, you are the bird, that is going to fly out of your nest <laughs> and be independent. Um, all right, Virgo. Let's see. Queen of Cups is the queen of love. This could either mean that some of you, um, you might fall in love with someone. Someone might fall in love with you. But the Queen of Cups is also, also somebody very empathetic. It's a water energy, right? Some, uh, some of you may be in your feelings. And the water energy to me is also very creative. I keep using the word creative because the Queen of Swords now is in reverse. That means for some of you, Spirits could be saying to now think creatively, uh, to go after what you're passionate about, to go after what you love because you've done enough. The Empress, because the Empress is a very earthy energy, so it's very practical. Uh, Earth energy is very practical. So, and also very logical with this uh, sword here, which is uh, air, air, air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, 
um, Libra. So a lot of you, Virgo, you have been doing things based on your thoughts, your minds, your intellect, um, and also your groundedness. The groundedness is like security, right? Wanting to feel secure, wanting to have that balance. Um, Manu, uh, how is it? How would I say? Um, what's that word again? Um, navigating through your life uh, with you know your thoughts and a sense of stableness or security. But now I feel like Virgo Spirit could be saying it's time for you to basically spread your wings, you know, when you spread your wings, you're flying, and you no longer are on the ground. So when you fly up in the sky, you can see the bird's eyes, bird's eye view, right, the whole bigger, uh, way bigger picture, and it gets you even further. And you might see the world or see your life in a completely, completely different light, completely different perspective. So I feel like for a lot of you, Virgo, maybe it's time for you to fly to spread your wings and fly and do what you love and passionate about because I feel like a lot of you have done pretty much enough. I feel Virgo, this part is for those of you. Like I feel like a little bit more mature Virgo, okay? If you have done enough already with being grounded, paying for the bills, maybe now it's time to go after what you love or what you're passionate about. Okay, and now thinking for yourself instead of you can still think of others, but prioritize yourself. Now, again, Virgo, I'm sensing two different groups of you. If you are the younger Virgo, I definitely see you, you know, of course, you need to make sure everything is stable, everything is in place before you can, you know, go ahead and do whatever you want. Because um, at the end of the day, and we have to be realistic as well. This is a dog eat, dog eat, dog, dog eat, dog world, right? We've got the Eight of Cups here. I see you moving forward leaving behind a lot of things that you maybe have you know experienced life in general we all have to um you know the death is like coming to a full circle as well like this chapter this phase of your life you know maybe it's over now it's a new one and ten of wands in one verse you have no longer carrying the burden that you uh, have been carrying all these while so you got two tens and then you've also got the death here so I see definitely like a period of time where you're going to be reviewing your life uh, from the beginning till now and then after that you like it's it feels like there's this transition okay Virgo a lot of you you're going to be transitioning or thinking about transitioning from wherever you're at right now you've been all along to like somewhere or uh, um, somewhere completely new, something completely new, okay? Let's just see a little bit more, Virgo. Yeah, for some of you, the work, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is a very hardworking energy, but a very hardworking night, but also could be a boring night. You know, some of you, maybe you've been leading, for those of you Virgos, if you've been leading like a boring life day in, day out, you know, um, clocking in, to work and clocking out and don't really seem to um, do anything other than what you normally do I feel like that is going to change okay something might inspire you to change it could be a video that you watch it could be this video <laughs> for all I know king of wands here is in reverse five of swords now these two can be certain individuals whom you know could be in your life right now or coming in I feel like these two I don't like it because they are now already in reverse that means um, they don't they no longer serve your highest good okay they no longer provide you security they no longer make you feel wanted needed um, they no longer there's there's no more spark that's what I'm seeing here uh, no longer make you feel passionate or alive five of swords so for some of you could be contemplating should I carry on connecting with these people or one person in particular or should I just go ahead and spread my wings and fly seven of wands in love first some of you Virgo it's that feeling of like I don't know why I've been fighting for this for so long and I don't actually have to fight for it you know life is more than that life doesn't have to be contained into what I know now or who I've known all this while I can still uh, expand my life because the Empress indicates it uh, could mean expansion and again I keep saying the word growth but it's something that is growing inside of you Virgo or you're gonna grow out of some people grow out of your home um, grow out of your you know mundane normal life 
um, what I would say, what I would like to say here is Virgo, the Ace of Wands, there's so much out there uh, for you to explore. And um, the fire energy is that, you know, when you touch the fire, you will get burned. So it can be a little bit risky for some of you, but um, it's okay. You can weigh your risk, just like this weighing scale right here, and then go from there. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because it's free anyways. And also, if you've been here before or if you find this reading to be helpful, again, don't forget to subscribe. And also subscribe to my other channels, Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my main channel. I'm going to go live later on that channel, so make sure you subscribe also to my main channel as well as on my um, my travel vlog channel. <laughs> Take care, Virgo. I love you guys. Bye.